Greetings viewers and welcome back. If you're watching this, hopefully you've seen the previous video and you're ready to proceed with choosing an army. This can be a big deal to some people and others may just grab the first thing they see. Um, it's always been said to go with your gut instincts, so I can't argue with that, but at the same time I'd still like you to be a little bit informed if that's not going to cut it for you. There's no right answer um, to the question, what's the best army? You, people ask it all the time, there is no right answer. The best army is the one that you enjoy and have the most fun creating and playing with. That's the best part about this hobby because once you pick an army, it becomes your army. You model it the way you want, you paint it how you want, and you play it the way you want. Whichever one that is depends on you and how you plan on playing the game. There's a bunch of options available. There's 14 races out there, and just because a particular army is listed as being close combat oriented or a shooting army doesn't mean you have to play it that way. All the armies have some kind of close combat unit, they all have some kind of shooting unit. Depending on whichever ones you pick and how you assemble your list and put them together is going to depend on how that army functions with those particular units. It's all about the strategy and the dice. You can have the best units in the world on the table, but if you have bad dice rolls, it, it doesn't really matter and it's not going to help you much. Most of the players out there pick their very first army based on the way it looks, which again is completely understandable. I personally picked Chaos Space Marines. I probably stood in front of the display in the store for about an hour. I'm sure I freaked out the guy working in there, going back and forth, looking at this, picking up that, putting it down, picking up something else, and I couldn't decide. I didn't know what I wanted to do until I picked up the Chaos Space Marine Codex. I happened to flip it over, look on the back of it. I saw the picture of the Defiler on there, and I was instantly hooked. I knew which army I wanted, immediately grabbed the Chaos Space Marine Battle Force in the Rulebook Codex, and walked out the door. Well, I paid for it first, and then I walked out the door with it. I haven't looked back since, and I love my Chaos Space Marines. As far as you picking an army, it's going to be up to you and what your criteria is for deciding which one you want. Again, I don't want to kind of steer you one way or the other and tell you one's better than the other or, or kind of describe it to you and give you my own biases in there so that you end up thinking that you need to pick one over another. The best decisions that I can tell you to make if you have some kind of a hobby store or gaming center in your community is go there. Find out whatever day it is that everybody usually gets together to play 40k. Talk to the players that are there. I haven't met a single 40k player yet that was not willing or wanting to show off their army. They'll tell you all about it. They'll show you what they carry it in, how they store it, how they picked it. They'll, they'll be glad to go over with you just like once you get started, you get your army, you get set, you'll be the same way. It's something you take pride in, you're proud of, and you want to show it off and tell the world about it. So, best idea there. Even if you're in the store and there's a whole bunch of people around and you can't kind of decide and, and they're you know, not really giving you much or they're kind of all being biased and saying, well, my army's the best, so buy that one. And, and you're not really getting anything, but you've decided and you're 100% confident that you want to play, you can either, what I would suggest is buy the Warhammer 40K main rulebook. If you plan on playing, you're going to need it anyway, so you might as well go ahead and grab that. Or, if somebody's there playing, you can probably just borrow theirs and flip through it a little bit while they're there, and I'm sure they won't mind. The reason for that is there's a section in there, once you get past all the main rules and, and gobbledygook regarding the game itself, they have a section there devoted to each one of the races, and they go over kind of a brief history and an overview of that unit. They show you a little bit of artwork, some fancy stuff in there, and it kind of gives you a little bit of an idea of what each army is about. And then once you get through that section, they go through all the races again, but it's just kind of more of a, a little model display show-off thing where all the professional painters have you know, their little models in there for each one of the armies, and you get to see the actual units as they're painted up with the different kind of color schemes and all the different units that make up that army, which again, if you're going for the visual aspect of what the army looks like, it'll be a great opportunity to see, again, each one of those units in each one of the armies and what they look like once they've been painted and, and set up properly, and you can look at it and go, yeah, I like that one, that's, that's what I want. Another resource that I could suggest, um, kind of along the same lines as that, if you go to the actual Games Workshop website, go to the, the top banner where it says Warhammer 40K, click on it, it's going to have a little section that says all the armies. On the left hand side you're going to see all the armies listed. Um, it's all down there on the left in alphabetical order, and you can pick each one of those. And once you click on them, so let's say we go to Blood Angels and you click on that, it comes into, basically it's the order of, uh, where you can order all the stuff on their website for the models so you get an, again another chance to see what those look like but there's also in the top of each one of those sections for each army there is a getting started link if you click on that again it's going to show you some more grand pictures of the the models engaged in some kind of epic battle so it'll look kind of cool to look at but it also goes over again the history the general idea the mindset of the army what they're all about 
kind of breaks them down a little bit, shows you some of the units, explains maybe some ways to make a list, or, or kind of some important information you might want to know or, or might lead you in the right direction again if that's the Army for you. If not, go to the next one and check it out and just kind of see what they're all about and, and what you like about them and what you don't. And hopefully that will help you kind of figure out which one you want. And at the same time, you'll also get to see some of the uh, prices for the, the models, and hopefully that doesn't scare you off. Also, if you're watching this, obviously you have access to the internet and you have some idea how to use YouTube, which is another excellent resource for finding out information on this kind of stuff. One of the best things that you can probably do is go on YouTube, look up Warhammer 40k Battle Report or something else. Battle Report basically is people that are playing the game, videoing themselves and each other playing the actual game with their armies. You'll get to see, again, what the armies look like as far as the people have painted and, and modeled them up, so you maybe get some ideas that way kind of see how they operate once they're on the table and interact with each other and how they work whether this depends on obviously the player's play style but it gives you an option to see how that army again works and, and functions so that's a really good idea and people also have different reviews of their armies where again they kind of have them on display they want to show it off to the world they show their paint scheme and, and modeling techniques and all that and you'll get a chance to kind of see basically what the army looks like and all the different models and units in it and, and get a little idea from that person how they've done it and maybe give you some ideas for your own army. The last one that I would definitely and highly recommend is miniwargaming.com. You can sign up for them, you can get a little account. Um, they have a lot of information on there. They put out a lot of different videos. Again, the battle reports which I explained before, which there's a lot of those on there. And Mini Wargamer Dave also does a section where he goes over the history of each one of the units. He does an excellent job of narrating them. I think he has a couple that are missing. He doesn't have all of them up there, but the majority of them are there. And it's kind of a little epic music in the background. will get you all piped up and listen to the history of the Army. So, again, another good resource there. Also, a lot of the other users in their community put out their own stuff that they've made their own videos and pictures and, and the forums and they talk about stuff on there that they, they're they all just kind of compiling into this website and it's just a gigantic collection of information from a whole bunch of different people, different views and different ideas on things. So definitely you can go on there, you don't have to sign up for an account, you can easily go on there and do a search for whatever it is you're looking for, if it's a particular army or again you want to see the history videos, just type in 40k history, it'll come up with a list of every single one of them that are on there and that'll kind of Hope you get a little bit more information again. More than likely, if you stick with this hobby long enough, you're probably going to collect more than one army anyway. Your first one probably won't be your only one unless obviously you don't have the financial resources or the time to be able to continue to, to move on and keep getting more. I'm currently working on my fourth one and I still haven't finished half of it, so the time thing may not be a big bother for, for some people. For me, I just kind of, maybe it's ADD or something, I don't know what it is, but I just keep buying models and, and collecting more armies it's just because I get to see them kind of other people play them or I hear something else about them I just I've always thought they were really cool and you know again I couldn't decide on which one I wanted so in the end I'm just gonna get all of them anyway and and then I'll definitely be happy with whichever one I pick so hopefully some of that information helped if not or if you would like some more information or you have any more questions please post a comment below I will put a link to the mini wargaming website in the section below as well so you can go check them out I know I said in the other video I was going to go over a tour of my workspace and cover all the items that I mentioned before you're going to need to buy to again play the game and to put together your models and kind of craft them up the way you want them. Unfortunately I apparently I like to talk so I'm not going to have enough time in this video. I will however cover all that in the next video. If you found this current video useful as far as helping you get some information to picking an army, please like the video below. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or other information you'd like, please post a comment below and I will do my best to get that information for you or get back to you as soon as I can, okay? See you in the next video and thanks for watching.